few weeks ago, I decided to go to multiple Dollar Trees, which I do anyway, and start doing a little survey on what would be good road trip foods. Here are the protocols. <laughs> they should be easy to open with no extra tools, uh, no can openers or anything like that. They either have to have a pop top lid or a screw top lid or a tear open uh, package. That was one of the protocols. Second one is uh, they should not take up a lot of room, either full or empty. If we go on a road trip or any other any other ex excursion, it's, you, you don't want all this bulk in your car. And the third uh, protocol was that it needed to be Dollar Tree because there are Dollar Trees everywhere. You can always find a Dollar Tree and you always know how much it costs. I took into consideration that you might be staying in a motel or might be car camping, or even might be stuck someplace unexpectedly, as so many people have been this difficult winter. First of all, there was lots and lots of ramen, <laughs> both in the packages and in the cups. And while the uh, packages are a way more uh, economical deal, because you're looking at a package of four or five for $1.25, the uh, single serving ones are $1.25 per serving. But if you're traveling and you don't want to deal with dishes, then by all means, a cup of noodle style are the best ones. These are great for motel rooms. Most motels and hotels have a little microwave. Um, if not in the room, sometimes you can access one in the lobby. Uh, sometimes uh, some of these truck stops have, uh, have microwaves you can use, or you can even use an in-room coffee maker to boil up some water for the ramen. I was pleased to see they also have a couple different varieties of instant macaroni and cheese. I've seen different varieties there, different um, brands over the years. Uh, they have the Doritos right now and something else called Mac Help, or at least that's what I saw. I also noticed they had these individual rice meals. There's such a variety of packaged tunas and chicken. I mean, all sorts of flavors. I tried to take pictures of all of them and there was a lot with different flavors and different styles. So, you know, if you get bored with the same thing quickly, you can get one envelope of each and really have a nice variety. And again, you can add them to these uh, cup of rices or these ramens or the um, macaroni and cheeses and really have a, a filling meal. I also really like the little uh, cracker sets. You have crackers and a little tuna salad or a little chicken salad, and that is such a great snack. It's really um, compact and easy and a little box. You can even throw that in your purse. And don't forget they've got those uh, shelf-staple puddings and shelf-staple jellos and all of the little fruit cups. And if you have any children with you, they have the uh, pureed fruit that comes in the little packages and the child just takes the lid off and sucks it right out of there <laughs> and who says those are just for children anyway in some dollar tree videos i have seen i have seen a microwave friendly pancakes and waffles that are shelf stable i have not seen that in any of the dollar trees i've visited but i have seen a lot of these bre breakfast biscuits and i really like them i purchase them from time to time they're actually quite good, and what I especially like about them is they come in individually packaged. And I figured out how you can make a full meal in the microwave with Dollar Tree food. For starters, they have all these different microwave-friendly rices. You have to open the package, pop them in the microwave. So you get one of those. You get a second package of uh, refried beans. Warm that up too. Put them together. You can get some of those Velveeta cheese uh, little cheese sauces and just put it on the top. I did see some Rotel there. I was not able to tell if it had a flip top or not, but you can also get a uh, paste picante sauce at Dollar Tree. So you get one of those and some tortilla chips. <laughs> if they don't have those little envelopes of um, Velveeta cheese, they also have little containers of cheese in the snack area. So those are some ideas of food you can take on a road trip or just keep in your car or keep in your purse. 
or just keep in your house. <laughs> when I go on road trips, in addition to food and snacks and things like that, I also take a couple of these divided containers. These are from Dollar Tree, but you can get them in other places. Very handy. I take um, some plastic forks and knives and spoons. I take some uh, paper towels and I also take some baby, uh, baby wipes. Whatever I'm eating or doing in the car, those basic supplies take care of everything. So hoping this will help you a little bit if you're road tripping and find yourself unexpectedly in a motel or unexpectedly in your car. Oh my gosh, what a winter we've had. Um, you will always be prepared and all these items and perhaps more are available at Dollar Trees across the country. So what are your thoughts on some of these foods? Are they something you would eat or not eat? Um, do you have any favorites? What do you like to take on road trips that are shelf stable? What do you like to have in your car? What do you like to have in your purse for a snack? Anyway, give me your thoughts and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>